everyone and welcome back to another video. Today's video, excuse the hair, it's wet. I'm sure I say that in every single video. But anyway, today's video is a huge, well, huge? Is it huge? Yeah, I'd say it's pretty big to be fair. It's a huge summer holiday try on haul with Primark, Primark, Sheen, Pretty Little Thing, um, New Look, the full shebang. So I'm actually going on holiday in a week and a half and I've accumulated a few bits. Yeah, I've been buying stuff, probably when I don't need to. So I thought, why not film it? I actually planned to film a different video today, um, but that one didn't work out. So instead I'm gonna film this one because I thought, why am I not showing you what I'm taking on holiday? I was gonna do it when I did a pack with me next week, but I think I'd rather just concentrate on packing the actual stuff than telling you where the stuff is from. So, thought I'd do it in this video. First thing I'm gonna start off with, because I don't wanna start rambling on for ages, is accessories so of course i wouldn't be going on holiday if i didn't get some 90p flip flops from Primark. now i'm not being funny these are literally 90 pence you can't go wrong i think i bought three pairs i don't think i'm taking all three i think one of them was just for here i think i might just take two pairs oh i've got cell tape in my hair oh no So yeah, can't go wrong with a pair of flip-flops. Of course, they're essential for when going on holiday. Other than that, I don't really think I've bought any shoes. I think I'm just taking on my own. I've obviously bought um, my black Converse, white Converse, which you'll have seen in different videos, which I buy every year for my holidays anyway, so I don't need to show you them. Next, I've got a few bits from Sheen, actually. So I decided to get these little, like, neon bubbles to do, like, I don't know if it's going to work, you know, like the bubble braids. But I need some like mousse or something to keep my little baby hairs from going anywhere. So I got them to try. I'm not sure if I'll try them. I don't know. I wanted to try them before I go away so I know if to take them or not. But I think I'll just take them and just try them when I'm there, to be honest. Um, it either works or it doesn't. Uh, the next thing I've got is these earrings because I thought they looked like um, the ones I got from Primark before. They don't feel like the same quality. They look like they probably snap after a couple of nights out. But... They'll do me for my holiday. Next thing I got is, I don't know if you've seen it, you've probably seen it in every single one of my videos, but I actually have a gold necklace from Sheen that I got last, last year I think, in my like November Sheen haul. And it's got my star sign on it, it just says cancer. But again, it was going a bit rusty, but that's nothing to do with the actual jewelry, that's what I've been up to. Um, so I just grabbed myself a new one of those, because they're literally like, I think like a pound or two. And I literally wear it all the time, like, every outfit I wear that necklace with. Oh, by the way, I will pop prices on the screen because I always forget to say the prices. So I'm just gonna not bother saying the prices because I'll just forget. And to be honest, I don't really have the tags on most of these. And obviously my Shein stuff, I'd have to check my emails, um, which I, I can't be bothered. So I'll just put the prices on the screen. Um, yeah, I got myself some like little anklets because I thought these were cute. I like to wear these on holiday just because, I don't know. I just do, but I usually buy them there. And then I thought, why am I buying them there when they're like literally like three euro pop? When I can literally buy these for like one, two quid and you get like like six in a pack. So I thought, even if they break, they're like so cheap, so it really doesn't matter. Oh yeah, I got this little shell anklet as well because I thought it would match my shell necklace, but I forgot that my shell necklace had snapped. So I went to put it on today and I was in the middle of Asda and it just fell off. So that's a shame. So I'll have to get myself a shell necklace to go up to go with the anklet. And then the last bit of jewellery that I got is this little bracelet. Now I never really wear bracelets, but I just thought it'd be a nice little thing to go next to my watch. Um, and it's actually got a little T and I love her. I don't know if you can see that. It's in the packet obviously, but I, I don't wanna get them out and then I have to put them back in or whatever. So that's for like shoes, jewellery. So let's move on to like sunglasses and bags. Now I usually go more crazy on the sunglasses, but to be fair, I still have so many sunglasses from last year. And my favourite black sunglasses that broke, well, I broke them because I had them in my bag, were from Primark, but we don't sell them anymore, so I've had to get similar ones from Sheen. Now, I don't know if it's just me or or I've got a big head, but Sheen's sunglasses are slightly a little bit too small. Like the fit, I can get away with them, but they're just a little bit uncomfortable. I don't know, let me try the pair on for you. So the first pair is the black pair. So I had these from Primark, they were literally similar. And they do fit like a little bit tight, I don't know. But honestly, I love these sunglasses. I'll just wear these for during the day. 
like around the pool, going out for food, etc, etc. The one thing that I love about Sheen sunglasses is every single pair of sunglasses comes with their individual case. And I'm pretty sure it comes with it. Yeah, it comes with a little cleaning thing as well. Honestly, it's so cute. Uh, and then these ones, I thought these were a little bit different. I don't know. I don't know. I really don't know. I thought these might be cute for like photos, maybe. Because I got this white bag from Sheen. I don't know if you can see that. Obviously fresh out of the packet, so it looks a bit crumpled. So once it got stuff in it, it'll be sound. So I thought white sunglasses, white bag. Uh, I will try these on with the outfits when I show you. But I just thought it'd be a bit of a vibe, you know, just for like, even just for pictures, like who's bothered anything else? Cause I'm not. So I found this one on Sheen. Oh my God, how nice. So it's like got like that beach bag type. What do you call that? I don't bloody know. Anyway, it's quite spacious to be fair. So that's like, love that love that you could just stick that on to go like again for food or could use it for like a night out honestly that's one of my favorite bags i've actually taken so many bags this year and i never ever usually take bags but we like options moving on to bikinis in today's video i'm going to be showing you the bikinis and then i will film the try on bits separate okay i've decided because this video needs to go up on wednesday there's not going to be a try on for the bikinis because um yeah yeah <laughs> no <laughs> so i'm just going to show you them to be fair so the first bikini top that i've got is from premac so i don't like the bottoms from premac because i prefer like seamless type bottoms when they've got a seam in them they give you like four butt cheeks no one wants that and um, so basically imagine it's like that so i'd put my arms with well, I'll, I'll show you so you put your arms through that oh, god and then it'll cross all around your waist and stuff. I think it doubly crosses, to be honest. I actually have no bikini bottoms to go with it and I don't know which ones I'm gonna wear with them. Cause I didn't think that far ahead. So now I don't have any bottoms to go with this top. This next bikini is possibly my favorite bikini I've ever, ever bought from Sheen. That might be a bit dramatic because I've bought a lot of bikinis from Sheen. If you've seen my Sheen bikini haul, which is actually my most popular video on my channel. So love that. I'll be definitely filming another one of them next year. It's like the tie side tight ones where there's literally like, if you pull it up, it looks so much better. And then the top is just like a normal like triangle one. It's just such a nice pattern. Like, and it's just so nice on. This is bikini number two. Bikini number three, I actually bought separate. This top is really tiny. I'm gonna have to take the padding out of it, otherwise I'm literally gonna struggle to, like, look at that, look at that. It's tiny. Like, I can get away with it for one holiday, but other than that, Jesus Christ. And this is a large, by the way, I will say all of my bikinis are getting a large. But the bottoms fit perfectly, I think, if I remember rightly. Yeah, so the bottoms are exactly the same as the last ones I showed you. But look how gorgeous the pattern is. It reminds me of, like, a jaded London bikini. But honestly, Oh my God, look how beautiful. Love the bottoms, the top's a bit small, but nothing we can't work with. The next ones, if you haven't noticed, this style of bikini bottom is my absolute favorite. It's just so flattering for me, it's so comfortable. I don't even know what pattern print it is. God knows, but I love the colors. I haven't actually tried this bikini on, so it's gonna be one of those ones where I take away and uh, hope for the best. I'm just gonna go with it, to be honest, but I'd, I can't even remember how this bikini top's supposed to go. I think it's just like, like that but that one actually came with a matching sarong it was a three-piece set i'm sorry but this sarong is tiny someone please tell me exactly um what is this supposed to cover like i know it's not supposed to like majorly cover anything and it's obviously see-through but surely it's supposed to give you some oh actually maybe i tied it wrong last time Oh yeah, I think I did. Okay, yeah, I take it back. It gives me enough coverage. I mean, it is see-through and I will have a bikini on, so who's bothered? But I just thought when I first tried it on, it didn't feel like it gave you any like any coverage at all, but it's only to go around the pool anyway. But this one is, doesn't actually fit, but, or at least I don't think it does. Okay, so these are the bottoms. These are like, um, Similar to the ones I've just been showing you, but these ones have don't have like a ruffle on the top, just a tie side one. And then the bikini top is the same as the other one where it's absolutely tiny and I really don't understand how people can get away with that. Anyway, again, can get away with it for one holiday and that's it. Also comes with a sarong. Um, I think, again, I tied it wrong last time. It does actually give you a decent amount of coverage. While we're on the topics of bikinis, let's go with cover-ups. I actually picked up 
I never ever really buy sarongs because I just don't know, I'll just shop pair shorts on and that's it. Um, but I got this one from Sheen because it was only like four pounds. It's like massive, it's like a dress. I think that's why I thought them other ones were really small because these ones were really big. Um, but these ones will probably be nicer for like going, I don't know, for like breakfast or food or something. Picked that up in a black and a white, but I'm not going to take the white out of the packet because I just want to keep it in the packet ready for my jolly bobs. Oh, I'll show you the other sarong that I got. So the only reason I've actually got this sarong, this is probably the biggest out of all the sarongs that I've got. I could literally make this into a dress. This is a sarong, but I feel like I could wear it as a top. Yep, only got it because it was a pound. The next thing is these little shorts. Of course, I had to have some sort of cover-up shorts because they're just so easy to show on, aren't they? Got like frills on the bottom. They're like really stretchy as well. I got them in a, in a large, to be fair. Uh, yeah, I just always size up on Sheen just because... I'd rather have it big than little. I'm not sure what I'm going to pair with it on the top. I actually have a few cover-ups in my suitcase already from last year. Some of them I didn't wear and some of them I did. So I'll probably pair it with one of those. And the last cover-up type thing that I got was this toweling cord. I don't know if you can see like the material. It's like that toweling type um, material. And then it obviously comes with matching shorts. Honestly, it looks so cute on. Like, it just looks so comfortable. I feel like, because it's toweling though, I feel like I could only like get away with it like either early on the morning, like if we were going for breakfast, or like later on night if we were just chilling. Because also I wouldn't I wouldn't have it closed, I would open the, the thingy and have obviously my bikini on the thingy. You know what I mean? Like bikini underneath and have it open and whatever. But it because it's it, it can be quite a warm material, so I'd probably only wear it on a morning for breakfast. First thing is this dress from Pretty Little Thing. Obviously it's a bit long, that's well, not long, it's short, but I need to like hold it up to show you. Um, but it's this like green like palm print leaf type thing. It, it's got like a, would you call it a knot? Like a knot in the front. It's really low so you know you can see the, the boobies but it's backless as well. I mean it actually ties at the back. It's a beautiful and I actually ordered this originally to wear for my birthday but I didn't like it when I first tried it on. But I feel like it's because I was going out in Leeds where you know if I pictured myself wearing this on holiday, maybe that's a bit different. So yeah, I decided to keep it. Well, actually, fun fact, I left it too late and didn't like couldn't send it back. But to be honest, it's probably fit because I actually love it now. The next things that I've got are these blue and white gingham high front shorts. Um, I actually got these from New Look in the sale for like, I think it was like three quid. Honestly, I always find bargains in the sale. It's actually a joke. These are so comfortable. I just pair them with like probably um, my blue racer top and my white racer top, white trainers, blue bag, etc, etc. Okay, so the next one is this top from Sheen and it's literally funky as. Like, it's just like a halter neck tie, ties at the top. Um, it's not got like a tie around the thing, it's literally just like all in one. Um, but look at the pattern, again, love these patterns, like I just don't want summer to end because I don't want the patterns to disappear. Um, I'm not sure if I'd wear this after today, like after my holiday, it's hard because the bits that I've bought, like some of the stuff I could wear after my holiday and some of the stuff I couldn't because then it's like into autumn winter and I'm like, oh, how annoying. So that I'm probably going to pair that with like denim shorts. The next thing I also got from Sheen is just this little black dress and it actually ties, how does it tie? I was actually supposed to send this back but because uh, I thought it was a bit see-through at the time but to be honest it's not that see-through and because I'm going to be on holiday I'm not really that fussed so I decided to keep it and also I couldn't be bothered to send anything back so there's that. Everyone needs an LBD. Right I think we're on to the pre-max just now and this is quite possibly my favourite bit. So I've wanted a white oversized shirt for so long just to shot on over like a little top and like denim shorts. So I decided to get this one from pre-max. It was £13. Actually I got soft discount so it was like 11.75, no, it was 11.70. That's how much it was. <laughs> uh, these only came in the other week and they're actually sold out already, so love that for me. I actually got a size 10 because they were already oversized and um, I literally just wanted to shot on. And I feel like white shirts look so much good, like so much better when you've got a tan and hold it. Not being funny, but if you haven't bought these tops from Primark, you've absolutely missed out. So I got both of these tops in a small, so ignore the hangers. Um, it says khaki and this white, like, they're like racer back, right? But the front is actually longer than the back. Imagine that white little top with these. 
trousers i'm sorry but just look at them the flared at the bottom like a cotton material they're so goddamn comfy i'm not even joking they're so flattering so comfy such a nice pattern such a nice quality not too not too thick not too thin where they're like see-through but also not too thick where they're like really hot i literally cannot get over them and the fact they're only eight pounds don't usually take like trousers and stuff on holiday here but like i say it's going to be going into september or it will be fully into september so i didn't know if it was going to be a bit chillier than normal um so i thought i might be able to get away with trousers with like i don't know what what shoes so sticking with the same pattern again from Primark. i only bought this last night tried it on last night it's actually unreal so again it's like this cotton material it's got a collar on it it's like ruched all the way down the middle it's like a little v-neck nothing too revealing so if you've got like if you don't really like that sort of stuff i'd have said i'd have probably preferred it if the v-neck was a little bit lower again not too thick not too thin i'm not seeing for what I say not see through, but I had a white bra on under, underneath it. And you could, like, I knew the bra that was there. You'd probably be able to see it, but there's nothing major. And come on, look at the dress. Like, I think all of my outfits are planned with Converse or like a few with sandals. I don't know. Anyway, I think that's everything. Cause now I need to put all that away, tidy my room up again, cause I've just tidied it and hopefully try and film another video. I'm gonna try and film an update makeup routine. Wonder how that will go. I hate filming my makeup really because it just takes so long. So hopefully once I've done that, I'll only have to do my hair. And it's one o'clock now and it's at three o'clock. So I don't know what time we're leaving. I'm actually gonna have to check. I need to show up. Anyway, I'm gonna have to go. That is the end of the video. I hope you all enjoyed. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe to my channel, turn on the bell notifications, comment down below anything you wanna see in the future. Follow me on all my socials, they'll all be linked down below. And I shall see you in the next video. Bye.